Hi everyone, Flick here from Sleek Ballet Fitness. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do two things with you. Firstly, I'm going to take you through a five minute foot warm up, which also will incorporate the thighs and the butts. So it's a triple whammy. I am also going to talk to you about ballet booties and leg warmers. So stay tuned and I'll give you my top secret tips to staying warm in the colder weather. Okay, so tip one as we start to warm up. You can see I'm wearing these ballet booties. These are from Block. So you can get these online if you can't get to a Block store. And I'm just gonna show you them a little bit closer up. You can see that they're really cushioned and they're thermal designed to allow your feet, your skin to still breathe and to move with some flexibility in the sole of the foot. They stay really snugly warm and you can tighten them with a strap over the top. I love them because I get to really cold toes. I have something called Reynards, which means my circulation in my toes and my fingers often leaves me with really cold hands. So these are perfect. So my first tip is Keep your feet warm before you even start to warm them up by popping these on. And as you can see, they're co color coordinated with my sweaty Betty leggings today. And then when you're ready, if you haven't got a pair of these, you can always use some warm socks for now. Tip two coming up in a minute, so stay with me. Extend your legs out in front of you, sit nice and tall, press your palms down into the mat, roll your shoulders back and flex one foot. I want you to imagine you're rolling through your toes as you switch and change for eight, switch for seven, for six, for five, four more, four, three, two, and one. Flex both feet, sit up really tall, don't dump into the lower back and rotate out. We're aiming for our little toes to hit the floor one day, like a reverse first position on the wall in front of you. Point your toes, draw the legs in and flex them. Again, three more. Point, we're working the tops of the legs as well. Turning those toes out, pointing the toes, drawing the toes back and flexing. One more, stretch those toes. Long toes all the time, roll up. Let's go again from the top. We point and we flex for three and four. Using your hands if you need to. Two more, seven and eight. And this time we point, we rotate out, flex the feet, reverse the circle. Draw the tummy in, rotate, flex. And two more, we point, rotate, getting into the ankles here, the toe joints, and working through demi points all the time, flex and lift, point your toes, lift your arms to fit, sit up nice and tall, slide your hands behind you, extending one leg out, we start by rotating, we're going to take one leg just off the floor and circle the ankle for four, for three, for two, for one, now reverse it, now this is where you'll start to feel it, in this thigh, two and one, lift the leg an inch higher, lower down, lift the arms to fit, long spine, really elongate, lengthen out through the back, slide the hands behind you, rest into those palms and degage, just off the floor, second leg, circle, for two, for three, for four, again, for four, and three, and two, and one, lower the legs, legs down and lift up nice and tall, pull the tummy in, and do it a little high. Good, we're going to jump up. And as we do, I'm giving you my second leg warming tip. Watch this. Okay, so my second top tip for keeping warm in the cooler weather is leg warmers. If you want to go a bit of old school and booties aren't your thing, these I have in pretty much any colour you could imagine. I absolutely love them and they really do keep your legs warm. Is that their job? Leg warmers? There you go. So let's finish off our warm up. And this time wearing my leg warmers. Six position, please. Toes forward, heels back. Rise up onto your demi points and drop one heel. So we're gently massaging here into the demi points. Give me four more, please. For four, three, two, and one. I'm going to start to work into the thighs here by lifting up through those heels. Now take your butt high on the ceiling behind you. Lower down. Again, one, two, lift up. This time stay here. Draw one heel for eight, seven, six, five, four. If you hear any air, it's just the air popping out of the joints, no pain. Take your demi plie, lift your heels, feel your thighs engaged. Now butt high, head to the ceiling, lower one more time. Beautiful, keep the tummy in, lower down. Take one more demi plie, rotate from the tops of your legs. Find your first position here, lift one heel. Press the heel down, and as you do, brush that toe forward, that montagne de vent. We're going to circle the ankle. Four, three, two, one. Lift that leg, lift it a little higher. 
Work through that thigh, squeeze as you close to first, and you plie second side. Lift that heel, working here into the lower leg. Also the thigh and the butt, but getting those toes, those ankles warm. Two more circles. Last circle. Lift the leg a little higher. Think about your inside thigh lifting, there being a cup of tea on your heel. Close into first position. Well done. Draw those toes together. Side one leg back, interlace the hands. Lengthen out through the calf. And close, switch sides, take the other leg behind you, just lengthen through the lower leg, gentle stretch, and you are warm. You're ready to go on to some more intense workouts, particularly your bar workouts, as this has prepped you for plies and tendus beautifully. So head, please, to Sleep Valley Fitness for a free seven-day trial. And Victoria and I look forward to seeing you very soon. Have a great day.